not in the sense of physical beauty, but in the beauty of his, his being, his soul. Um, an interesting example, later example, after Plato, of this transition is um, the uh, Roman writer Apuleius, and he wrote a book called The Golden Ass, um, or the, and in it there's a young man named Lucius who um, seeks knowledge essentially, and he's going to, to take a journey to knowledge. And in the beginning, he's living in a house with um, someone who's put him up, and there's a maid named Photis, and, and um, they have a little sexual liaison in um, his bedroom. And she comes with wine and, and bearing a rose between her breast. And of course, um, they have, uh, they make love, and um, this doesn't turn out well. She gives him a wrong potion and he wishes to become, take this magical journey into uh, becoming an owl and she gives him wrong potion and he turns into a, a, an ass. Oh no. And then he goes on this journey and, and in order for him to transform back into a human being he must eat a rose. So eventually he dies, he eats a rose from the hand of a priest of Isis. This is symbolic of the rose between Photos' breast is pleasure, the body, beauty of the body. The rose from the hand of the priest of Isis, which he eats, takes into himself, is the beauty of the soul. Now, with all this, what I'm wish to really look at here is something of this battle that was going on in ancient Greece about beauty and um, I'm going to refer to um, Seth Benedet's uh, book The Achilles and Hector the Homeric Hero. Now this was actually his PhD dissertation at the University of Chicago. Um, I owe much gratitude to Mr. Benedetti. He has opened many doors for me in my personal study. But with that said, however, I find something in his book that I disagree with, and I, and I want to state my view. Um, in book 14 of the Iliad, uh, Mr. Benedetti points out that um, Hera, the, the wife of the god Zeus, wishes to end the Trojan War. And so, she, did, she comes up with an idea that she, with the help of um, the help of the uh, goddess Aphrodite and her spell of beauty, she will seduce Zeus, get him into a special room that she has, and she has the only key. She will lock him in that room, and then until she gets him, him to do as she wills, end the war. So Hera agrees and gives her the girdle of, of beauty, and she confronts uh, Zeus, and Zeus is instantly taken with her, and, and so much so that he doesn't follow her to the room, he takes her there, in the open, in nature. Now, um, Mr. Benedet quotes the passage from um, the Iliad. Under them, the divine earth sprouted fresh grass, the dew-drenched lotus, the crocus, and the delicate hyacinth. Now, Mr. Benedict.